guys, my name is Coast Shard Dogs to Born Bob, built for theme park news, and welcome to another Halloween update. Now, this is from Chessington World of Adventures Resort, and this is all to do with their Halloween event. They have announced the lineup for Halloween 2020. Creepy Caves is coming back, but in a brand new light. We do have some of the rising attractions in a brand new light as well. Rides in the dark, and also something brand new for 2020, which I'm going to share with you right now. Um, you go and check out the Twin Lakes Extreme Screen Park 2020 video uh, that we uploaded before, where you can see Michael Myers, who stepped in. I had to do some stuff, so Michael Myers stepped in and uh, recorded that video for you guys. Um, and yes, we're going to be talking about Chessington today. Thank you very much to Michael, wherever he is in prison, uh, for doing that video. And uh, for now, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you never miss another spooktacular video. We're getting closer and closer to that Halloween season. And for now, guys, let's get into talking about Chessington Halloween 2020. Very exciting. So, big stuff going down. Spooky things going on, according to the website, which I've linked in the description down below, just like with the Twin Lakes video with the website there. I've linked the website for this in the description down below so you can put your tickets and check it out for yourself. So... Of course, Rides in the Dark, that's a big thing for the park. Don't forget, on selected dates, you can experience our awesome Rides in the Dark, Soar in the Darkness on Vampire, and Spin Your Way into the Evening on Dragon's Fury. Rides in the Dark are available from the 25th of October to the 1st of November. Please note that Rides and Attractions are subject to availability, and Canopy Capers, Amzu, and Safari Ride into Africa are not included. That is very, very very, very important to note. Um, but the rest of them, selected dates, Rise in the Dark, very exciting. Rise in the Dark has always been a big part of Halloween in the UK with the theme parks like the Alton Towers, Thorpe Park, Chessington, Poultons, Drayton Manor. You know, it's always been a big part of the UK theme parks with Rise in the Dark. It's been a big part of worldwide theme parks with the Halloween events. They always do Rise in the Dark, and it's one of the only times you can do Rise in the Dark. So, uh, you know, very exciting to see that come back once again. Your favourite attractions come to life. Now, this is interesting. So, our spooky characters have broken free this Halloween and are bringing some of your favourite rising attractions to life, including the first some vampire and the terrific, see what they did there, Tomb Blaster. Additionally, Halloween entertainment included on Vampire, Rattlesnake, Tomb Blaster in the Rainforest and the Sea Life Centre. Please note that rising attractions are subject to availability. So, very, very good there. So, um, the fact they're going to be putting some scare actors around, again, staying social distant, of course, COVID rules. It's, you know, it's COVID safe, they're ready to go. And, you know, putting the scare actors around the different sites, like the Vampire, Tomb Blaster, the Rainforest, even the Sea Life Center. You know, that's very good. Um, so, very exciting stuff there from the scare acting point of view for Chessington. Next up, Creepy Caves Resurgence. So that is coming in for 2020. It's a terrifying new route. The award-winning scare attraction returns for another year with a terrifying new route for 2020. Brave Creepy Caves Resurgence. And journey deeper into the dark caverns to experience the twisted next chapter of What Lies Beneath. But be warned, only the most fearless adventurers should enter. Now please note that Creepy Caves is... Uh, Resurgence is a scare attraction which is designed to be frightening. We strongly recommend that only the bravest adventurers enter aged at least 10 years or older. So it's 10 plus this attraction. The attraction is selected on Halloween dates, on, on selected dates in Halloween. It's available 17th to the 18th of October and the 24th of October to the 1st of November. Those are the dates for this particular attraction. Additional entry ticket is required and it's £5 per person. The fact that platform, and I know this is not as scary as platform 15 and, you know, Roots of Evil, which the new maze that thought part Fright Nights, which, you know, I'm really hoping, and, you know, this is probably one of the pluses of uni being online for the first semester, most of it anyway, or nearly all of it. I want to save the money, I want to go to Fright Nights this year. If I'm not going to Scarefest, I'm going to Fright Nights because it sounds amazing. But the one thing I will say is the two brand new mate, well, the, the new maze Roots of Evil and platform 15 are £10 each. Per person, that's you know. I think you'd only do one or two reruns uh, on that if it's only that ten pound. Compared to this one, yes, it might not be as scary as those two. However, it's still a scary attraction for Chessington, and the fact that it's five pounds per person is very, very reasonable compared to the ten quid for Platform 15 and Roots of Evil at Fright Nights. So, you know, fair play to Chessington for going down the five quid route hopefully that won't last hopefully when this whole covid thing ends or calms down to a reasonable extent 
we'll get back into free maze and stuff like that but i think while we're under covid and they need to get more money into the parks we are going to have to experience the additional entry requirement on the scarier attractions uh, separately new for 2020 uh, an enchanting adventure of your little pumpkins wander through the extraordinary world of the for forgotten forgotten forest this halloween and discover its quirky inhabitants hidden deep within the magical wood this attraction is included in the admission ticket and is suitable for all ages now this attraction does not feature live actors now this one is a very interesting one because it sounds it sounds that's called the forgotten forest so I think, now this might be a theory, but I think this is a retheme of the Trick or Treat Wood. Now they used to do like a Trick or Treat Wood thing, I think they did like the um, Room on a Broom theme with it. Uh, but it was called, but the main thing was called Trick or Treat Wood. It's been around for a couple of years at Chessington. And I think this is a more modernised, all ages retheme of the Trick or Treat Wood into Forbidden Forest. So. Um, fair play for Chessington for try if it is a retheme of Trick or Treat Wood or if it's a complete replacement to that. Fair play to them for going for that. But uh, let's talk about my thoughts on the brand new stuff. The scare actors making the rides come to life, the rise in the dark coming back as well, as well as the new stuff, Creepy Caves, Resurgence, and Forbidden Forest. So there we go. Chessington World of Adventures 2020 Halloween has been announced. Now, I'm not too sure if I'm going to be attending this event this year or not. Uh, I think it's quite some distance away. Uh, well, saying that, I did say I want to go Thought Park Fright Nights, and that's pretty much the same distance. Um, I don't know. I'm still deciding at the minute. Obviously, with Yorkshire Scare Grounds and York Mace Hall screaming that close near me, so I want to try and, you know, outspread and try and do some coverage elsewhere. Uh, whether that's Alton Tower Scare Fest, uh, Extreme Screen Park at Twin Lakes, Thought Park Fright Nights, Chessington Halloween, anywhere. Any one of those events, I'll go to. Um, but looking at the new attractions, I can definitely say for the families of all ages, this is definitely a recommended attraction for Halloween. Uh, the brand new 10 plus age maze, creepy caves, resurgence, brand new chapter. They're taking this maze into a different kind of route in my opinion. I think that the old creepy caves on earth was getting loads of great reviews. Um, and it's a bit of a bit of a gambly decision, I guess, to go with a different route. But I'm guessing with the to try and bring the people back, the award-winning attractions do need a bit of new life added to them to make people say, well, hang on a minute, this was award-winning last year. What they changed to make it even better this year? I'll go to Chessington. So, you know, and they did the extreme version of that, of course, with the actors, you know, last couple of years. So obviously with COVID, they can't go ahead with the extreme version. But the resurgence version does sound interesting and very mystical in my opinion so you know very exciting stuff there the forbidden forest again all ages looks to be a replacement for the trick-or-treat wood that's been around for a couple of years at chessington i spoke about trick-or-treat wood in last year's halloween lineup um and i can't believe we're not I'm, i can't believe i'm not saying trick-or-treat wood for the first time it's forbidden forest now so uh, very exciting stuff with that one obviously the scare actors around the rides like vampire tomb blaster uh, the Sea Life Center, very nice stuff indeed. Uh, and of course, the Rise in the Dark coming back as per usual. And of course, we know that Canopy Capers, Amazoo, and Zafari aren't included in those rides. And of course, it's subject to availability if the rides can be open in the dark on that particular day. So, overall, I would highly recommend this event. Again, like the Twin Lakes video I did with their website, check the link in the description down below where you can book your Chessington Halloween tickets. Uh, and you can check the information about all the new stuff and the returning stuff for yourselves. And uh, you can check the dates for yourselves as well. So uh, very exciting there. And I hope you have a good trip if I'm not going either. Thank you very much guys for watching this Halloween update on Chessington World of Adventures Halloween 2020. And uh, yeah, go and check out our Twin Lakes Extreme Screen Park episode. Uh, news Halloween news update episode from uh, earlier. And for now, guys, my name is Coaster Shell, Donkster Born, but built for theme park news. Again, once again, thank you to Michael Myers for doing that Twin Lakes video. Um, you know, fair play to the guy for taking his time out of prison to come down here and do the video. Uh, fair play to him. And for now, and by the way, we're wearing matching t-shirts, so uh, best buds. And for now, guys, uh, keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a spectacular day.